Welcome to the Whatcom Art Market in beautiful historic Fairhaven in Bellingham, Washington. We are temporarily closed right now, but please come in virtually and let me show you around a little. Have you ever visited the Whatcom Art Market before? I'll tell you just a little about it. We are a cooperative gallery of over 45 local artists, making us the largest co-op gallery in historic Fairhaven. The market features paintings, jewelry, photography, woodworking, glasswork, textiles, and so much more. You won't be able to see every Whatcom Art Market artist in this tour, but we can get you started and what your taste for return visits where we will show you more during each monthly art walk. Give me five minutes to show you the work of five of those artists. The first exhibit you will see is Dave and Elby Schmoker's sandblasted glasswork and their jewelry. Dave and Elvie create their own glass designs, cut their own stencils, and sandblast each piece individually using a unique double-edged process. Their glass art is about the beauty of nature and the functionality of the pieces, and is meant to be used and enjoyed. Elvie's jewelry is a celebration of natural stones and metal along with creative art pieces. She makes her own ear wires from hypoallergenic wire. She does the metal wrapping and works with several media techniques to produce interesting pieces of jewelry. Elvery's jewelry is always one of a kind. Next, we'll go across the aisle to see the paintings of James Williamson. He creates his artwork using a variety of mediums, including transparent and opaque watercolor, acrylics, pen and ink, and colored pencil. Jim is committed to creating memorable images of historical and contemporary maritime subjects, plus landscape and wildlife themes. Subjects include the natural beauty of the Pacific coast, inland waterways, islands, beaches, and mountain wilderness, plus native northwest themes and wildlife. The next exhibit we will visit is of the amazing weaver, knitter, and spinner, Pat Fisher. She offers handwoven and knitted items including hats and scarves, blankets and throws, and table runners and placemats. She creates many of her own fashion and home fashion designs, inspired by wonderful yarns from all around the world. Pat's art is about creating colors and textures which are wearable and usable in everyday life, bringing joy to her customers' personal lives. Let's move on to look at photographer Kenneth Kearney's exhibit. Each year he spends weeks in the field camping, waiting for the perfect moment to capture. His work highlights the land and animals that he cares deeply about. He enjoys spending time in nature and showing an artful glimpse of those special moments to others. One of Kenneth's prime motivations is to foster a greater appreciation of wild animals and their habitat to encourage conservation efforts. With macro photography, he enjoys providing a glimpse into the world not seen by the naked eye. Whether photographing a bird, bear, mountain, or musician, he hopes to convey the unique emotion and energy of the scene so it may be appreciated by others. Joanne Wyatt is our next artist. Her work is inspired by the beauty around her and that definitely shows in her paintings. She considers art an outlet for her inner being, her soul. Her paintings start with an idea, sometimes with a color, and sometimes with a blank palette and music. Her work comes in layers and days of inspiration. Well, that was a whirlwind tour, and we covered only five artists. Thanks so much for joining us. 
Over the coming months, we will be offering you virtual tours showcasing the work of additional artists. Until then, from the Watkin Mart Market, stay safe and healthy.